Today we're going to review the Liberty London 2023 beauty advent calendar that Ed, my husband, kindly bought for me. He's been buying me these advent calendars for about three years now. I love them. It is a great way to make December feel very special, especially as an adult. You're not a kid anymore. You're not opening up chocolate advent calendars. So as an adult, this is great. It's a nice little treat to wake up to every morning and count down to Christmas. So I wanted to share everything I got, the value and is it worth it and should I be getting it in 2024 again as you can see the box is beautiful it's got this very unique design I read somewhere the name of the designer of the box so I will insert the name here it is beautiful it's actually carved out the rooftops and this is the liberty london storefront but let me open and you will see this beautiful pattern I love it but let's start with number one. Got my phone here and I can share with you the price of everything. Okay, I might take a while to look for it. Also, I'm trying something new. I put a little bow in my hair with a Hermes scarf that I got gifted by my amazing friend for one of my birthdays. So I'm trying something new with my style in 2024. Let's look at number one. It is the Perfume Tudor. Liberty London perfume. This is valued at the Liberty London fragrance tutor is $65. That is quite a lot for 8 mils, 0.27 ounces. We start off strong with a beautiful perfume. I've already used this a few times. Two, we have the Seated Queen Serum. The Seated Queen Serum is $30.58. Three, we have the Luna. The Luna Sunday Riley Sleeping Night Oil. Very excited to try this. It is $55. Okay, $55. For we have little Dr. Barbara face cream. Perfect for travel. For 20 mils, it's $75. That is very expensive for a little face cream. Okay, five, we have a mascara. It is the Serrate Mascara. I'm really excited to try this. I haven't tried their mascaras before. So read mascara, $32. Definitely don't need any more mascaras in 2024. Six was a fun one because I actually got this really cool star bracelet. Don't know if you can see. It's the Estella Barlet Star So Bright Gold Plated Bracelet for $26. And I really love it. It's really cute. And I started wearing it throughout December as soon as I got to number six. And then with that, I got the Voltary Night Star Serum. I've never tried this before, so excited to try this. And this is $171. That's expensive. But it's always fun getting two little gifts. Seven is a little one. It is the Aromatherapy Associates London little roller. I have three of these now. I haven't even used last year's one, so I definitely need to start using these more. I think it's perfect to put on before bed. I just put on my temples and it really helps me sleep better. So I just need to get better at using this. And this is, how much is this? $33. Eight is right here. Eight is the Dysiac Deep Conditioner. I don't know if that's how you are pronouncing it. I haven't used that brand before, so I'm excited to try that brand. And it is $28. Nine, I remember. Nine was actually my favorite out of all the days. I got two little gifts. I got the Rose Ink Cheek and Lip Cream. Can I say cream? In the color Daylily. Beautiful name. So we got that. I'll show you the color. It's in this beautiful, almost a darker pink, like a dusty pink. In the Liberty London pattern for this year, it is a little mirror. How cute. With the same pattern and perfect for traveling and to put in my handbag. So this I kind of classify as a gift. And then the Rose Ink Cream Blush is $32. So this was definitely my favorite day. Number 10. I was a little bit disappointed with this one. It is the Mela and goat's rum bar soap i don't really use a soap but i will try this and see and it was only five dollars liberty london you could have done better 11 was a little bit of a treat it is the Mulheim perfume and this is poets of berlin it smells incredible let's spray it 
on myself right now because I don't have any perfume. It's definitely a more amber tones. I wonder what tones it is. Let's actually look. Poets of Berlin perfume. Poets of Berlin. A Bowie state of mind. Berlin, a city that is alive with the same kinetic magnetic energy that attracted David Bowie for a few formative years in the 70s. Oh, it's a tribute to David Bowie. What? So it's got notes of bold collision of blueberry, lemon, bamboo, green wild, orris, and Haitian viteria, if that is how you pronounce it. But I definitely love the earthy tone of this perfume. And again, great travel size. I really don't have to buy any more perfumes because every time I've gotten a perfume from one of my advent calendars and I really have loved every scent. There's not a scent that I haven't loved. I am sitting on the floor, so I'm getting a little bit uncomfortable. And what does this cost? Let's see. This is $40 for only 10 ml. $40 for 10 ml. It is a lot. This perfume is quite expensive. I really loved last year's. It was a Peonies. Only sold at Liberty London, but to bring it across is very expensive. It's definitely a, a perfume on my wish list for when I have used up all my perfumes because I do have a lot of perfumes. I haven't bought one in a while and I try and not get little samples. It's just such a waste to have too much perfume, but I do love the smell. Well, we have Davines Oi Shampoo. Really cool. I've never tried this shampoo before. Let's have a look. At the cost, it is $17. That's not too bad. $17, great travel size. I'm traveling quite a bit this year, so that is great. All right, 13. I don't know if something is missing, but I expected it to be much bigger than this. But this is the Paulo's Choice Exfoliant. It's a nice little travel size, and this is $13. This is $13. With how big this was, I definitely thought there was going to be more in here. 14 is a lovely surprise. I love of the packaging of this. It is by Rido Solid Ground Lipstick. Let's open this first. It comes in this little box and then it comes in a little baggie. So bougie. And then it's such a unique design. It's got a gold top and a silver bottom and it's actually magnetic. Amazing. And it is this beautiful, I don't, I don't know how to describe it. It's almost a purpley dusty pink. This was an amazing surprise because I'm not going to be buying lipstick in 2024. I am putting myself on a lipstick lip gloss ban. I have way too many colors that I need to use before I buy a new lipstick. So that is the only new lipstick that I'm going to be using in 2024. But I got it with my calendar. So there's a little bit of a loophole. This is $50. It is quite an expensive lipstick, but I can tell by the packaging. It's gorgeous. I can't wait to try it. Maybe I'll try it next weekend when we go on date night. 15 is the Ren can Ren Clean Skin Care Overnight Glow. I haven't used this. I'm really loving Ren products. Dark Spot Sleeping Mask. Ren, how much are you? It is $55. It is a full product. I don't currently have a night cream. I'm really excited to be putting this into my skin routine. 16 was heightened. It is the Dr. Siba Serum. I've had this before. I can't tell if it worked well or not, I definitely think I need to go to a dermatologist because I'm breaking out quite badly here and kind of go through all the products that I've been using. I'm also trying to not mix serum, so I'm trying to use a morning serum and a night serum. But let's see how much this is. It's $101. That is very expensive. I don't know if I would spend $101 on a serum that tiny, but it came with my calendar. Actually, I lie. 17. 9 and 17 are my favorite because first I got these really cute hair clips from the uniform. I went to look at them up and they're in a lot of magazines and kind of must have clips, which is super cute. The uniform hair clips they're about $32 but then this is what I'm most excited about Larry King spoiled for choice hair oil I am deeply influenced by a lot of British influencers and vloggers they've been using this hair serum and I have very fine hair and I'm hoping it does magic to my hair. Super excited to use this. Let's see, how much is this? $31. It's actually really not bad. $31. Hair oil with rosemary. I can't wait to use this. Yay. 18 is the Verdun hand cream. So I've never heard of this brand. I think it's an orange flavor. That can smell really nice. This is, it's $37. That's quite pricey for a hand cream. Hopefully it does magic. My hands are super dry. I'm also trying to not buy hand cream in 2024. So this will be the last hand cream I bring in to my collection in 2024. 19, again, 
a very big box and a little 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 product this is the rose 31 liquid balm fresh 12 months after first use i recall this being quite expensive the la la bar rose 31 liquid balm is this a perfume oh i think it's a perfume Okay, I can't put it on me now, but this is cool. It's really expensive. It is $105. I don't know if I would pay $105 for this. Very cloudy. I'm gonna have a look and see if it's meant to be this color. Again, I thought I was expecting more, but $100, that's very expensive. 20, and this is the Charlotte Maasai hair oil. So I've got another hair oil. So I've got two hair oils out of this. Okay, this is $22, not too bad. I'm excited to use this. Ooh, it smells really good. Distribute a small amount through wet or dry hair and massage into your scalp. That can be nice. 21 is this renewal charge. Zealand's instant recharge. Cute little packaging. This is $80. This is a lot of money for 30 months. Also, another thing I'm not trying to spend money on, masks. So this will be one of the last masks that come into my collection in 2024. 22, two products. So I have the Oto Papaya Enzyme Exfoliating Cleanser. Love the packaging. This is Auto Cleansing Jam Exfoliator, $9. Not too expensive, love that. Then the Triple One Skin Black Diamond Eye Mask. It says $115. I don't believe this is $115. This is very expensive, but excited to try. I hope it lifts all, all the bags and makes my eyes look 10 years younger, but we'll see. 23. We have another perfume. I love that we got perfume, but three perfumes. Actually, no. Four perfumes in an advent calendar, in a beauty advent calendar, is a little bit much. This is a brand I haven't tried before. I definitely I love the packaging. It is BB Ghost of Tom. It is $35. So not, not a ridiculous amount. It's a beautiful smell. This is my fourth perfume. I feel that's a little bit too many. One would have been great. So 24 is a candle. We all love candles. And candles, again, I should not be buying any more candles this year. Going into 2024, no more candles. But this is the stately bouquet cashmere woods blackberry musk and it smells incredible i only started burning 2022's one this year so i definitely want to try and burn this a little bit earlier than i have oh, it smells so good i wish you could smell what this smells like and it says no minute gone comes ever back again take head and see your nothing do in vain so this cute little thing can you buy the candle separately? I'm sure you could. But in London, scented candle, $62. And then lastly, I was a little bit disappointed with 25. It's this massive box and it only has one item and it is the Augustina's Bader Rich Cream. I'm very lucky and I got one of these even in the Harrods calendar. They gave this to us last year in the Liberty London calendar as well and it is a very expensive cream. It's $92 but I was a little bit disappointed that there wasn't more in 25. Hi! <laughs> oh wow, the new lens is so good. I know, it's great. So this is my husband who bought me this amazing gift. It me. I'm reviewing the Liberty London and the Canada. Oh, awesome. I like this seat. I know, it's the Christmas tree. You just met my husband. I've got to tell you how much everything totaled to. So everything, all 25 products, sum to just under $1,500. That is a lot of money. On the side is advertised as being over $1,300. I know with inflation, because obviously Liberty London is in London, it's converting pounds to dollars. But what I'm assuming Ed paid for, because I didn't buy it, he bought it for me, he paid $320. So basically you are getting 4.5 times the value of what you paid for. I did do a Harrods re review because I got the Harris Advent Calendar as a gift from Ed for my birthday. My birthday is the 1st of October, so every single day in October, I got to open up a little gift, which was really amazing. So I did do a Harrods review. You can go and watch it. I will link it down below. And I want to say, let me have a look if I still have the Harrods sheet. So Harrods, actually, the value of everything was way more than Liberty London. It was 
just under $1,700. But the price that I saw online was around $292. You got more for what you paid for the Harrods. On Liberty London, I definitely do love the design. They come up with a new design every year. So that is a big treat and I love it. I do feel that for perfumes was a little bit much. I would have liked to have seen maybe an eye cream, maybe more makeup because obviously you got the got a blush that was great a lipstick amazing mascara maybe something with like eyebrow gel or lip gloss or even a very neutral type palette that can kind of be used for everyone or even glitter because you know it's christmas i would love more glitter eyeshadows but i'm never going to really buy myself glitter eyeshadows because I don't wear them that much, but for Christmas, a little MAC or whichever brands they hold, a glitter eyeshadow would be amazing. So those are some of the things I would change. I'm going into 2024 with a different mindset on spending. I'm trying to use up everything that I own before I repurpose. I don't know if I would want to get this advent calendar again. I might change my mind because probably by the time December comes, I would need more products and I definitely use all of their products. I use the serums, the face creams, face wash. Actually, a face wash would have been amazing. A face wash, a toner, even lip oil. That would be amazing. Eyebrow serum or eyebrow gel. There's so many different things than, that I would have preferred than for different perfumes. But I definitely think it is worth it knowing that I can go into 2024 with a whole bunch of products that I can use this year so that I don't have to spend because I am definitely trying to reduce my spend. I did a recon of my 2023 spend and I definitely spent way too much money on beauty products and personal care. So I spent around $3,000 and I definitely want to try and reduce that and get that down closer to 2000 and if I get that down to even a thousand, that would be amazing. I've got too many duplicates. I've got too many lipsticks, too many eye palettes, too many serums. So I definitely do not need to buy anything right now. Again, that might change. I'm feeling a bit more energized going into 2024, trying to not spend and save. Definitely going into 2024 with the saving mentality. But if you enjoyed this video, please do subscribe. I am doing a bit of a 2024 reset series. I think after this video, you will see me reorganizing and resetting my office space because I definitely haven't done that. We moved in August and I just haven't taken the time to properly create a work space for myself. So that is going to come up next, but hopefully you like this video. Do give it a like. Let me know if you're going to buy yourself one of the beauty advent calendars and have a beautiful weekend.